Once there was an episode of South Park made during the third season that Comedy Central never aired, appearing to be the series finale, it was going to kill off the entire series, but it actually never did. So one day, I was at a bizarre Chinese department store. While there, I saw a bootleg South Park VHS. The cover art has the four main characters with Chinese text on top of it. The text said, Nanfang Ganyu in 2009 Zinian. In English, it says, South Park 2000 New Year. I said to myself wow. Why that much? Oh well. I never watched this episode anyway so I bought for free and went home. I opened up the VHS tape. The print date of this tape was February 12, 2000 which is the day when the creator of the Peanuts franchise, Charles M. Schultz died. I put the tape inside the VCR. The tape began with the disclaimer, followed by the intro. As the tape is in good condition, it was perfectly normal. The episode began with Jimbo and Ned in their Humvee. They arrived at Kenny's house. Kenny was outside bored. Jimbo, hey Kenny, what are you doing? Kenny didn't answer. Ned, well you look like you answer to no one. Kenny laughed so hard, he ran inside his house laughing. As he ran in his bedroom laughing, his laughing was distorted which made it more disturbing. It cut to his mother. She was cooking pasta. Then she was finished so he yelled Kenny. Lunch is ready. Kenny didn't come, so he yelled again. Kenny your lunch is ready. In a distorted voice. Then she went to his bedroom to see what was going on. He saw Kenny laying on the floor if he was actually dead. Kenny's mother becomes depressed. Scuzzlebutt came to the kitchen and ate Kenny's meal. Kenny's mother grabbed a bottle of pills and said, My son always dies all the time. Why would this happen to him? She then opened the pills and put all of them in her mouth. Then she dropped to the floor and passed out. Officer Bar Brady then came home at 9.00 p.m. at night and saw Kenny's mother dead. He buried her at a cemetery. Then it cuts to Cartman, Stan, Kyle Jimbo, Ned, Bar Brady, Kenny's father and Kenny's brother gathered around having a funeral. Then Stan said hey, I wonder what happened to Kenny, Cartman, Stan and Kyle went to Kenny's bedroom. When they got here, they were all shocked. It showed a hyper-realistic image of Kenny's dead body. His eyes were gouged out. His stomach was crudely cut open and his throat was slit. It looked like if he was mauled by a bear and lion, like what happened to Chef in The Return of Chef. Stan, oh my god, somebody killed Kenny. Kyle, well, I don't know who's the bastard. Kenny was a murdered. It's unknown who did this. It cut to the South Park Elementary. At the class, Damon Thorne said Heil Hitler and the White Power. Mr. Garrison replied angrily, Okay, what the frick was that? Damien got furious and shouted, I'm gonna slit your throat. Damon then got out of his desk, put out a gun and shot Mr. Garrison. He then slit his throat and shot Stan in the face. His class is shocked over this scene. Wendy screamed why? And started crying. It was actual crying, not acting. Stand up, said Damon in a gruff voice. I said stand the frick up so I can kill you again. He shouted. He started to kill Wendy while crying furiously. Cartman ran off scared. The other students didn't leave. Then it showed Damien with flames in his pupils. Demonic music was playing and Damon shouted, Heil Hitler and the White Power, go freaking kill yourself. Cartman then said in a crying voice, If you want me to leave, well I will leave. Goodbye. As he ran into his home, it cut to a time card saying, One day later, it cut to Cartman in his bedroom. Cartman then said in a sad voice, What if nobody likes me anymore? Sniff, I'm nobody to anybody. Sniff, I had enough. He then hung himself, resulting his suicide. It then cuts to South Park getting hit by a nuclear bomb falling from the sky. As this happened, the devil appeared on the scene with black eyes and red pupils with tears of blood. Suicide is our only release from this hell we call Earth. The episode finally ended with credits. It was silent and in white Chinese text. I ejected the tape and broke it in pieces. Because of that, I am unable to see South Park the same way again.